So today, uh, ladies and gentlemen and dear colleagues, we are going to discuss the role of clinical echocardiography in heart failure with reduced LV ejection fraction. We will do this with uh, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction also at a later date. So the key points that I want to highlight today is how do you define heart failure? What is the global burden of congestive heart failure with India in context? What is the brief pathophysiology of that? A case present presentation, the value of echocardiography, and conclusion. So if you look at the very definition of heart failure, that's why we've, we've called this as clinical echocardiography. You cannot do just a test, but not know why you are doing it. So heart failure is a clinical syndrome. It's a syndrome with symptoms and or signs caused by a structural and or functional cardiac abnormality and corroborated by elevated natriuretic peptide levels and or objective evidence of pulmonary or systemic congestion. There is a universal classification into, of heart failure with heart, into heart failure with reduced ejection fraction where the ejection fraction is less than 40%, heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction between 41 to 49%, and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, wherein the heart, wherein the ejection fraction is more than 50%. This has been given by Dr. Lamb and others in Jack in 2021. And see this, just look at this universal classification. It embraces everything. Heart failure is a common clinical condition. The prevalence is approximately one to two percent of adult population in developed countries. Over 6,50,000 new cases of heart failure are diagnosed annually in the USA alone, and more than 25,000 new cases every year in the UK are reported. The mortality rate for patients with heart failure is high, and it is as high as 50% at five years post-diagnosis. What does it, what happens in India? That the mean age of the patients here is 53 years, whereas globally it is 73 years. The in-hospital mortality globally is 3.8%. The in-hospital mortality in our country is 30.8%. Post-discharge mortality is 26.3%. So if you look at it, why clinicians and echocardiographers have to move together is that patients with heart failure in India are affected at a younger age, have a high mortality, both in-hospital and also after discharge. The prevalence is 1.3 to 4.6 million, and you know that 1 million is 10 lakhs. Annual incidence, 491600 to 1 1.8 million. Amazing. Unlike Western countries where heart failure is predominantly a disease of the elderly, in India it affects younger age groups. The commonest cause of heart failure is coronary heart disease, valvular heart disease is number two, and cardiomyopathy myopathies of every sort. And of course, CHD is the underlying cause in 60 to 70% of patients of acute heart failure, which is called as ADHF, acute decompensated heart failure. The other characteristic of heart failure is, it, is its chronicity. It's a chronic condition interspersed with acute episodes. Increasing frequency of acute events with disease progression leads to high rates of hospitalization and increased rates risk of mortality. Now, just, just see that a person has been discharged and he's, he's feeling nice. Only you know that, man, this guy could be back to us, back with us in one to two months or three months. Now, that's a huge thing because mentally, and physically and financially, the people are deeply affected as the rates of hospitalization increase. And the, obviously, the risk of mortality also increases. So this is a classic diagram. The cardiac structural abnormalities occur as a result of injury and remodeling. And this is what we have to understand, that this is a cardiac injury has taken place here. The infarct zone thins out and elongates. And then there is 
<coughs> spherical ventricular dilatation, and there is with increased interstitial collagen. So you see, once you have fibrous scar and myocyte hypertrophy, you are you can rest, you, you can be very clear that this person is coming back until and unless you have reversed the remodeling in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. It's extremely important for us to understand this concept right from the beginning uh, of, of our uh, going into heart failure with reduced ejection fraction.